Welcome friends, this video is about Natalie Portman, who is a highly acclaimed actress known for her exceptional performances on both stage and screen. Her remarkable talent and captivating screen presence have earned her numerous accolades, including an Academy Award and a Golden Globe. Throughout her career, Portman has starred in a wide range of films, from epic blockbusters to intimate dramas, showcasing her versatility and range as an actress. In this video, we will take a look at the top 10 best movies featuring Natalie Portman. But before jumping into the list make sure to like the video and subscribe Stoli's YouTube channel. Now, let's jump into the list. He wants to feature me more this season. Well, he should. You've been there long enough. And you're the most dedicated dancer in the- First, I would like to talk about number one, Black Swan, released in 2010. The IMDb rating of this thriller drama movie is it, and Natalie played the character of Nina Sayers. The film follows Nina, a talented ballerina who is competing for the lead role in Swan Lake. Nina is perfectly suited to play the innocent and delicate white swan, but struggles to embody the darker, seductive black swan. As the pressure mounts and her mental state deteriorates, Nina becomes increasingly paranoid that she is being replaced by her rival, the free-spirited Lily. Nina's world begins to spiral out of control as she descends into a hallucinatory nightmare, with stunning visuals and a hauntingly beautiful score. But be warned, this movie is not for the faint of heart. It's a thrilling psychological roller coaster. Sweet girl. Sweet girl. What happened to my sweet girl? She's gone! Number 2, Closer, released in 2004, and this romantic drama movie ranks on the IMDb with rating of 7.2, and Natalie played the character of Alice. It tells the story of two couples who get entangled in each other's lives. First, we have Dan, a lonely obituary writer who meets Alice, a quirky American stripper, and they fall in love. But things get complicated when Dan meets Anna, a photographer, and starts an affair with her. Anna is dating Larry, a dermatologist who is smitten with her. But after Dan introduces Larry to Alice, Larry and Alice start a relationship, leaving Anna heartbroken. As the four characters navigate their relationships, they discover the ugly truths about love, betrayal, and the consequences of their actions. The movie is intense and emotional, with some pretty heavy scenes. What are you, 12? My boyfriend's here. He's here where? There. He's very pretty. She is very... Number 3, Brothers, released in 2009. The IMDb rating of this war drama movie is 7.1, and Natalie played the character of Grace Cahill. The movie is all about the Cahill family, particularly two brothers, Sam and Tommy. Sam is a Marine who is sent on a mission to Afghanistan while Tommy stays back in the United States to take care of Sam's wife, Grace, and their two daughters. After Sam's helicopter crashes and he's presumed dead, Tommy steps up to help his brother's family through their grief. But as the family starts to pick up the pieces, they discover that Sam is actually alive and has been taken captive. The movie follows the family's journey as they cope with the aftermath of the war, deal with the uncertainty of Sam's fate, and navigate the complex relationships between the brothers, Grace, and the two daughters. This powerful and emotional drama tackles heavy themes like war, PTSD, and family dynamics in a way that is both raw and realistic. What happened with you and Tommy? I thought you were dead. I just want to be able to come over and see the girls. What's wrong? Number 4, Annihilation, released in 2018. And this sci-fi thriller movie ranks on the IMDb with rating of 6.8 and Natalie played the character of Lena Double. It's about a group of scientists who enter a mysterious zone known as the Shimmer which has been expanding on the southern coast of the United States. No one who has entered the zone has ever returned, except for one man, the husband of the main character, Lena. Lena, a biologist and former soldier, joins the team of women scientists who are sent into the Shimmer to try and figure out what's going on inside. But inside the Shimmer, things get really weird. The environment is constantly changing and they encounter strange plants and animals that have mutated in bizarre ways. The team members start to experience hallucinations and have trouble remembering their pasts. They also begin to suspect that something dangerous and unknown is lurking inside the Shimmer. Without giving away any spoilers, let's just say that Annihilation is a mind-bending, visually stunning, and suspenseful movie. We have to go back. I can't go back. Number 5, Star Wars Episodes, released from 1999 to 2005. The IMDb rating of this sci-fi action movie is 6.5, and Natalie played the character of Padme Amidala. This epic saga started with The Phantom Menace in 1999. We meet young Anakin Skywalker, a slave on Tatooine who joins Jedi Knights Qui-Gon Jinn and Obi-Wan Kenobi on a mission to protect Queen Amidala from the Evil Trade Federation. In Attack of the Clones, which came out in 2002, Anakin is all grown up and training to become a Jedi Knight. He's also in love with Padme Amidala, 
who's now a senator. But their romance is threatened by the rise of the separatist movement and a clone army that's been secretly created for the Republic. Revenge of the Sith from 2005 is where things get really intense. Anakin has become a powerful Jedi Knight, but his love for Padme and fear of losing her to death leads him down a dark path. He's manipulated by Darth Sidious, who reveals himself as the Sith Lord and offers Anakin unlimited power in exchange for his loyalty. Number 6, V for Vendetta, released in 2005, and this action thriller movie ranks on the IMDb with rating of 8.2, and Natalie played the character of Evie Hammond. It's set in a dystopian future in England, where a fascist government has taken over and turned the country into a police state. The story revolves around a masked vigilante named V who's trying to overthrow the oppressive regime. He's kind of like a modern-day Robin Hood, stealing from the rich and giving to the poor but with a lot more explosions and fight scenes. Along the way, V meets a woman named Evie who gets caught up in his mission to take down the government. She starts off as a scared and helpless character, but as she spends more time with V, she becomes braver and more confident in standing up for what she believes in. As the story progresses, we start to learn more about V's past and why he's so determined to bring down the government. I'm ready. This country stands on the edge of oblivion. I have everything remember why they need us. Number 7, Leon, released in 1994. The IMDb rating of this action drama movie is 8.5, and Natalie played the character of Mafalda. The film follows the story of a hitman named Leon, played by Gene Reno. He lives a simple life in New York City until he takes in a young girl named Mafalda. Now, Mafalda has just witnessed the brutal murder of her family at the hands of corrupt the agents, and she has nowhere else to turn. She begs Leon to take her in and teach her how to be a hitman like him so she can avenge her family's deaths. At first, Leon is hesitant, but he sees potential in Mathilda and eventually agrees to train her. The two of them develop a strong bond as Leon teaches Mathilda the tricks of the trade. She and Leon must use all of their skills to survive and take down the bad guys. Number 8, Thor series, released from 2011 to 2022, and this action-adventure movie ranks on the IMDb with rating of 6.8, and Natalie played the character of Jane Foster. The first Thor movie came out in 2011, where Jane Foster is a brilliant astrophysicist who is researching strange atmospheric disturbances happening in New Mexico. The God of Thunder, banished from Asgard by his father Odin, as Jane helps Thor understand the human world, they develop feelings for each other. In the second movie, Thor, The Dark World, Jane discovers a powerful substance called the Aether, which possesses her and attracts the attention of Malekith, the leader of the Dark Elves. Fast forward to 2022's Thor, Love and Thunder, and Jane is now the mighty Thor herself. After being diagnosed with cancer, she becomes the new wielder of Amjolnir, Thor's hammer, gaining all of his powers. She teams up with Thor, as well as other characters to stop the threat of the villainous Gore the God Butcher. Throughout the series, Jane has had a significant impact on Thor's character development, and their relationship has been a key aspect of the story. The old ex-girlfriend. What's it been like? Three? Four years? <laughs> Number 9, Jakey, released in 2016. The IMDb rating of this history drama movie is 6.7, and Natalie played the character of Jacqueline. It's a really interesting film about the life of Jackie Kennedy, the first lady of the United States in the early 1960s. Let me give you a quick synopsis. The movie takes place right after the assassination of Jackie's husband, President John F. Kennedy. The film follows Jackie as she deals with the aftermath of her husband's death and tries to navigate through the grief and turmoil that comes with losing a loved one. Jackie is trying to figure out how to cope with the immense tragedy that has just occurred, all while trying to maintain her composure in front of the public eye. Throughout the film, we get to see Jackie's private moments as she tries to come to terms with her loss and the impact it has on her life and the lives of those around her. Overall, Jackie is a poignant and emotionally powerful film. And on very last, number 10, Jane Got a Gun, released in 2015. And this western action movie ranks on the IMDb with rating of 5.9 and Natalie played the character of Jane Hammond. The story revolves around a tough-as-nails woman named Jane, who's trying to save her husband from a dangerous gang of outlaws. See, her hubby got himself into a bit of trouble with these baddies, and now they're after him with guns blazing. But Jane's not one to sit back and let the bad guys win. No way. She grabs her trusty rifle and sets out to protect her man and her home, enlisting the help of an old flame along the way. 
Together, they must face off against the ruthless gang and save the day. But things aren't that simple, oh no. There are twists and turns aplenty in this thrilling tale of revenge and redemption. You are such a prick. The prick just come to protect you and your piece of shit husband. You don't know the first thing about him. But I know that he's a criminal. Well, now here are a couple of movies featuring Natalie Portman. Your Highness, released in 2011. You. Oh, really? Oh, really? That didn't really go as planned. What's right for you to spy on a bathing woman for simply keeping an eye on her? Oh god, she's looking at us. Remain perfectly still. A Tale of Love and Darkness, released in 2015. Well friends, this was the whole video and if you enjoyed it and want to support us, the easiest way is to like the video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. So, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more top 10 lists and more entertaining content. See you in the next video.